Now, one of the most abundant truths in Scripture is the fact that when an individual gets saved, they receive eternal life. And what a wonderful gift that that is, that eternal life, that they're never going to die, that they're going to live forever and ever and ever. Uh, Their bodies might die and go into the ground, but the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And we praise God that there is a day that is coming that the Bible says that the dead in Christ shall rise first and those who are alive and remain shall meet him in the clouds of glory and what's going to happen after that we're going to be with Jesus forever and ever and ever and so we're going to enter into that eternal state when God created Adam and Eve God created Adam and Eve to be eternal they didn't have any sin within their life he created them to live forever and ever but God told Adam he said on the uh, of all of the uh, the, the trees with within this garden of everything within this garden you may eat of you may eat of freely except for this one tree the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and we know the story they ate of that tree but God told them of the day that you eat of that tree you shall surely die friends death is the sting of sin death is the curse of sin and we need to recognize that and so what happens when we get saved our sins are forgiven and so since uh, so, so since uh, death is the wage of sin, according to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, the free gift of God is eternal life. So all of that sin has been wiped away. Your slate has been made clean. Uh, you, your sin has been removed from you as far as the east is from the west has been blotted out. It is remembered no more. And all of those glorious truths of your sins just totally being gone. And so since your sin is gone, there is now no more reason for you to die. Say, well, my body is going to die. Well, it may. It might get caught up in the rapture or your body might die. But you know what? The moment you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior or the moment you do accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're going to enter into eternity. Why? Because all of your sins are wiped out and you're going to live for eternity. The moment you were saved, or the moment you will be saved, you're in eternity right then and there. Maybe not physically, but spiritually. And as we begin to recognize that, friends, what what comfort we have in that, what peace we have in that, uh, you know, what what uh, assurance that we have in that, that we're in eternity right here and right now. So as the Word of God says, what can separate us uh, from the love of God? Absolutely nothing whatsoever. John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish because the sin's gone. They're not going to die, but have everlasting life. Praise God for the sacrifice Jesus paid on our price, paid on our behalf when he died for us.